Uh, I don't think I mentioned this in any of my videos, but, um, I want to talk about this last Halloween. I had fun. I, I'm a big man. I'm a very, very big man. Right? Right. So it's hard for me to find certain apparel all this year i wanted to be 2018's michael myers so i got a mask the mask itself is from the actual molds they use for the movie uh, but the hair is just glued on like fox hair or whatever the hell it is you know it's crappy but I, I'm gonna probably take and remove the hair and redo it with actual wigs hair so it looks more realistic but other than that the jumpsuit was the problem like I said I'm a big man I'm a very big man right that being said, I finally found a jumpsuit that fit me. And it did. It fit me quite well. But apparently I didn't know that, because I, I bought it used from a thrift store and had to wash it and that, that it's, I didn't think about it, that it's had some wear and eventually it, I had to retire it because I wore it a few times otherwise as regular clothing because it was comfortable. Anyhow, that being said, Halloween, I was visiting my sister, and so I helped hand out candy with my sister's boyfriend, or I mean boyfriend, husband. I didn't have boots or shoes, I was wearing sandals, but nobody noticed, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm handing out candy, and it was so much fun. People were taking pictures of me and him, because he he uh, was wearing this cool uh, pumpkin mask that lit up. A ja you know, a Jack Lantern mask, and it lit up. But he was wearing he was wearing his costume from the Halloween party the night before, as um. Cruella, you know, the movie Cruella, he, he was dressed as Cruella's love interest. He was dressed as he was in the movie, right? So he's wearing all that again, plus the mask, which made it look even cooler. So here we are sitting there. We're taking and handing out candy, which went fast. And then we had to get more candy, which also went fast. But it was fun. Um, the cool part was... At one point... I had this... A lot of the little kids were scared of me. <laughs> Just sitting there, because I was sitting on a bench that we moved. And it was a heavy cement bench. Right? And we were sitting there. And kids were scared of me already just sitting there imagine I'm 6'3 and hefty hefty imagine a Michael Myers that size standing up handing you candy a lot of kids were mortified and scared They're like nope we're good we're good they passed by because of me but hey, Michael Myers is a scary figure, and having one the size of a wall makes it even scarier, right? Even one of my girl, one of my female friends' his daughters was afraid of me. Even though I took off my mask, she was still pretty afraid, right? 
while we were handing out candy, this one older kid who loves Halloween. At, and I heard about it. At, and Advent Michael Myers fan. His dad's like, and I didn't break character. I did not speak at all. I just stood there. And I gesture, not making a sound, right? Well, the older brother was too afraid to get candy from me. Right? Dad's like, come on, at least take a picture with him. You know you love Michael Myers. He's your favorite slasher horror icon. Right? Kids, like, no, no, no. That is way, basically, without saying it, I'm saying that is way too fucking big of a Michael Myers. That is terrifying. Right? His little brother is like, I'll take a picture with him. So we posed for the picture. I took, you know, they took the picture. And I gave the brother, the older brother, one candy. And I gave the younger brother, for being so brave, two candies. You know, I, I, I should gesture he gets two for, you know, and he knew it was because he was so brave. I didn't speak. Right? He walked away. And then we reached the point because uh, the steps are older and wooden leading up to their house because it's up a hill. We, m me and her husband, Corey, decided to go down and stand on the sidewalk. And we're handing out candy. We're, sw we're switching off. I'd hand out five, six, seven pieces of candy. And then when we'd get a break, I'd hand it over to him and he'd get the next bunch and then hand it back to me and we'd switch on and off throughout the night. I'm in the, I wound up in the local newspapers, Boston Star Times, which was awesome. I didn't even know about it. He did too, he did too. Because he's standing in his costume off to the side of me watching me take candy to these kids. I'm carrying the bowl. It was funny because... Like I said, I didn't know about the picture. I'm walking towards these little kids to give them candy. All right? And they took a picture. I didn't realize it at the time, but what made it so freaking funny is sticking up out of the top of my breast pocket is my charger cord. Yes, Michael Myers carries a cell phone. <laughs> oh, I laughed when I found, saw the picture. I, uh, we did the trick-or-treating, uh, right? Next thing I know, I get, you're in the paper. I'm like, you're in the Star, Boston Star Times. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, you and Corey made the paper. And she sent me a picture from the link. I was like, no, no fucking way. I made the paper. And I was the biggest, one from what I gather, I, I think I was like one of the biggest pictures for Halloween is my Michael Myers. And the coolest thing was, and still is, is out of everybody that dressed up that year, or last year, I was the only, the only Michael Myers. So that made me even more happy. Everyone's like, yeah, you, you were the only Michael Myers, man. You know, my friends, they went around town. I was there, so I didn't know. Like, yeah, dude, you were the only Michael Myers. I was like, really? Did nobody else dress up like Michael Myers? They're like, nope. And they're like, and because you're so big, that made you even more intimidating. Because, like I said, I'm a big man. Right? I'm no little bitty 5'11", 130 pounds. I am a wall. You couldn't move me if you tried. Well, that made my day. I was so pumped. I was so geeked. I shared it on my Facebook. I shared it with everybody. And now I'm sharing it with you. Um, 
it was one of the best experiences I had, you know, and I've always wanted to do Michael Myers. And I will do it again. I still have the mask. Hopefully I can get where I can redo the mask's hair so it looks more movie accurate. But, yep. I just need to find a uh, newer suit. And it's probably going to cost me a lot because of how big I am. But it'll be worth it. And I'm getting the boots. And I'm going to get the... At least the looking... Not the exact boots because those are really expensive. But I'm going to get black boots. And I am going to get the... Um, t-shirt he wears underneath so I look more screen accurate I couldn't find the charcoal blue or charcoal bl gray the dark charcoal gray because that's what he wears so I was wearing the dark dark blue and I still I rocked it I didn't break character when I'm dressed as Michael Myers to pay homage and honor and respect to the character I don't speak Anyone dresses like Michael Myers that speaks, they're not a true, they're not dedicated. I don't speak at all. And people love that. The, the minute the, my mask's like on top of my head, like uh, Nick Castle's in the first one, you know, I'll talk. The minute that thing's down, I am completely the shape. In this case, a very big shape. But I'm the shape nonetheless. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. It would really help. My channel's literally dying. And it's not because of lack of trying. It's because I'm sorry... It takes too long to upload a video to YouTube. And it's such a tedious process uh, to upload it that it kills your battery. Unless you have a full battery and you ain't got nothing else going on, your battery is going to drop. Because I am doing this on a cell phone. I'm not in a little studio area. You want me to do more content with a studio area? Help me out. Send me this equipment. It doesn't have to be high grade as so long as I can use it. I'll use it. I will do more content. I will figure out how to edit and throw stuff into the videos. I will do what I can to make the videos better. Until then, this is what I got. I'm sorry, but it is. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. And I love you guys for your support. Have a beautiful day. This has been Larry's Topics. Bye.